Hey, Hillary, what's up? Hey, how you doing, Peyton? What are you doing in the math lab? Oh, I'm studying for my Calc 112 test. We're learning about limits, functions, all that sort of stuff. Hey, wait, you took calculus, didn't you? Yeah, I sure did. Hey, I was wondering if you could help me out in some of these problems. Oh, sure, go ahead. Okay. Um, yeah, um, let's see. Uh, I have this one here, right here, and I want to know what I have to do to take you out. Uh, wait, wait, what did you say, Peyton? <laughs> I want to know what I have to do to take you out. Oh, well, you'll have to start by rationalizing things. Okay, well, well how about this one? Um, I root for you. <laughs> but Peyton, are you forgetting? I am not for you. <laughs> Why not? Uh, Peyton, I can't answer that question. How come? Uh, it's just too complicated. Uh, well, let me rephrase things. I'm looking for a sign for why I am not for you. <laughs> Peyton, there's just too many variables. Uh, oh. Well, how about this? Are you going to the pi function at 7? <laughs> Peyton, the function doesn't begin at 7, it begins at 8. This is what we call a bounded function. Oh. Hmm. Well, but if I do this, then I can take you to a place where there is no boundaries. <laughs> can you, Peyton? Can you really? I sure can. How about we take delta to LA to see you too? <laughs> I would be all over that. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> wow. You know, I've been thinking about something for quite some time. <laughs> there really needs to be a union between you and I. You know what, Peyton? I've been thinking a lot, too. And you are right. You are so right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you finally see things the same way I do. So I guess I'll pick you up at your place at 8. Wait, what are you talking about? 